Hi friends, good day. Do you know the microprocessor is one of the most important inventions in recent decades because it has allowed our society to advance technologically at an exponential rate. It has also allowed us to create more efficient and faster devices that can be used for a variety of purposes. Let us try to understand about microprocessor, types of microprocessor, difference between microprocessor and microcontroller, advantages and disadvantages of microprocessor and applications of microprocessor through this video. Microprocessor A microprocessor is a computer chip that is used in all electronic devices today. The processor is the brain of the device and it helps to process data. Microprocessors are used for a wide variety of purposes such as controlling appliances, cars and phones, running video games or performing complex calculations on large sets of data. A microprocessor, also called a central processing unit, that is CPU, is the computer processor that interprets and executes instructions. The CPU is the brain of a computer and it is the primary device that interprets and carries out instructions. What are the types of microprocessor? There are many different types of microprocessors. Some of them are mentioned here. CISC – Complex Instruction Set Computer Example – Intel 386, 486, Pentium Pro, Pentium 2, Pentium 3, and Pentium 4. Motorola 68000, 68030, 68040, etc. RISC – Reduced Instruction Set Computer Examples DECs Alpha 21064, 21164, and 21264 processors. Suns Spark and Ultra Spark. Power PC processors, etc. DSP Digital Signal Processors. Example Texas Instruments, TMS 320C25, Motorola 5600, National LM. 32900, Fujitsu MBB8764, etc. Bit Slice Processors Example AMD2900, AMD2909, AMD2910, and AMD29300 series. Texas Instruments SN74A S88 XX series, etc. Transputers Example INMOST414, INMOST800, etc. Graphics processors, example, Intel A2786 graphics processor, IBM's 8514-A, Texas Instruments, TMS34010 and TMS34020, Intel i860 and Intel i750, etc. ASIC, Application Specific Integrated Circuit SIMD Signal Instruction Multiple Data Symbolic Processors Development of a Processor The history of microprocessors start in the early 1970s when Intel co-founder Gordon Moore predicted that the number of transistors on a chip would double every year. The first microprocessor was developed by Intel in 1971 and was called 4004. It had 2300 transistors and could perform 6000 instructions per second. The 404 was not successful because it lacked instructions to access memory directly and thus had to use slow external memory. In 1973, a new design emerged as the 8008 with more than 8000 transistors. The 8008 could not only add two numbers together but also do other operations like shift left or right, 
test for zero or negative numbers and move data between registers. Microprocessor vs Processor Microprocessor definition is a microchip that has all the components of a central processing unit CPU on a single integrated circuit. It is usually used in computers and other electronic devices. The microprocessor is the brain of the computer and it's used to process data and perform calculations. The processor is just one part of a computer system, but it's an important one. The processor can be thought of an assistant to a microprocessor because it helps the microprocessor do its job by taking care of some tasks so that the microprocessor doesn't have to spend time on them. Why do we need processors? Processors exist to make the computer work faster. They are a computer's brain and also located on the motherboard. Processors exist to make the computers work faster. The processor is also known as CPU, Central Processing Unit, and it is located on the motherboard of your computer. It does all of the calculations for your computer and manages data, which is why it needs to be fast in order to keep up with everything you do on your PC. CPUs come in two types. CPUs that use one core, like most laptops, or CPUs that use multiple cores, like most desktops and servers. The more cores there are, the faster they can process tasks at once. Processors and Memory Processors are the brains of computer. They can process data and execute instructions at high speeds. The speed of a processor is determined by the clock speed, which is measured in Hertz. HZ. The processor has to work with memory to store data and instructions. Memory can be classified into two types, primary storage and secondary storage. Primary storage is volatile memory, which means it needs power to store information, while secondary storage is non-volatile memory. A computer's RAM, random access memory, can be used as an extension for the processor when it needs more space for processing power or data storage. This RAM extension is called cache. The differences between microprocessor and microcontroller. The major difference between microprocessor and microcontroller is that the microprocessor is used to perform the functions of the CPU and the microcontroller is used as the brain of the circuit. The microprocessor and microcontroller are basically used to optimize the computing unit as per the central processing unit. A microcontroller can be considered a self-contained system with a processor, memory and peripherals and can be used as an embedded system. The majority of microcontrollers in use today are embedded in other machinery such as automobiles, telephones, applications and peripherals for computer systems. Advantages of microprocessor it can be programmed to perform a number of operations. It is extremely fast and is capable of processing over 3 billion instructions per second. It can be used to quickly move data between various memory locations. Disadvantages of a microprocessor There is a limitation on the size of data. These mostly do not support the floating point operation. It may cause overheating of the design. It should not come in contact with any kind of external device. Applications of a microprocessor We can use a microprocessor in our personal computers. These can be used in laser printers. They are also used in televisions and mobile phone. It is used for variety of military applications. It is also used in various gaming machines and calculators. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.